Welcome to Feeney's studio. Today we're going to talk about firing and loading an electric kiln and how to make sure that you're doing all of these things properly and safely. So this is our electric high fire kiln and I'm going to zoom in here. This kiln has been loaded with a number of greenware pieces of ceramic that are ready to go into their bisque firing. Bisque is going to be your first fire of your ceramic pieces and you'll notice that around here to the left, you'll see this hook here. Before you fire your pieces, you always want to make sure that that is closed and locked. That's going to prevent anybody from opening the kiln or if something were to explode, it's going to keep the, the top of the lid of the kiln from opening on you <clears throat> mid-fire. So before we get started on firing, I just want to talk a little bit about the, some experience that I've had with firing for bisque. There's a number of reasons that your ceramic pieces might explode in the kiln, um, and one of which of those is that they are not properly dried out. So to ensure that all of the pieces that we're firing are completely dry, I like to put in all of my bisque pieces for at least an eight hour soak. What this means is that I bring the kiln up to about 300 degrees or just under 300 degrees and I let it sit there for about 8 or 10 hours. Um, and this is, <clears throat> this is going to ensure that all of your pieces are completely dry. What you can do on a number of electric kilns is, um, see here where it says cone fire, this is where it's going to go immediately into the, into the temperature that you are designating it to go. I'm going to show you how to program along with this um, soak period so that our pieces will have the time to sit in the kiln and rest um, and make sure that they're completely dried out. So what we're going to do is we're going to click stop and see where it says idle. I'm going to hit ramp hold. Now this is going to be where it's asking you to save your program numbers so that when you come back to this kiln again, you'll be able to fire the same exact program as you've already done before. So just for our purposes here, let's just call this program one. Then I'm gonna hit enter here. Where it says segments, that means how many segments are gonna be in your firing. If it were just gonna be the bisque fire, I would say just one segment and that we're gonna bring it up to cone 06 and then we're just gonna let it cool down. Because we're doing our soak period, we're going to have two segments where we're raising up to the bisque temperature or to the soak temperature, and then from there it'll go up to the bisque temperature and then cool from there. <clears throat> where it says RA1, this means how many degrees an hour is it going to climb until it reaches its first temperature. So I'm going to say let's raise this 50 degrees an hour. So, okay and it's going to go 180 degrees up to 180 degrees. So when we go, it'll go 50 degrees, 100 degrees, 150, and then from that third hour, it'll slowly climb up to 180, and this is where we're going to let it sit here and soak. Okay, so that's hold one. How many hours do we want to hold that 180 temperature for once it gets there? I'm going to say let's hold it for eight hours. And then now it's saying ramp two. From 180, how many degrees an hour do we want it to climb all the way up to the, to the full bisque temperature? Let's say we want it to go 180 degrees an hour up to 1835, which is cone 06. So we'll say 1835. We don't need it to hold any for the second cone, so I'm going to change that to zero. And now the alarm, when it says 9999, that means that the alarm is not going to be set. You can program this so that your alarm will go off at a certain number of degrees or a certain amount of hours into the firing so that you know, if you're around, you know to come and check. I'm going to keep it at 9999 because I'm going to be gone over the evening. And now when it goes back to idle, you're ready to start and it should say on. Thank you for watching.